Hey everybody, Jam Creates here. I got another video for you guys today. Today I'm doing something a little different. I am starting a new video series. Uh, this is something that I hope will be useful to everybody. Um, whether you are somebody who backs a ton of comics or maybe you've never backed a comic in your life. And that's really what it's what it's meant to do. But before we get into that, I just want to say thank you for coming. Please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and all that good stuff. And if you have not, please make sure you check out IndieComicsUnderground.com. It is the best place to go. The number one source for indie comic information, interviews, news, announcements, all sorts of cool stuff, artist spotlights, anything related to indie comics, whether they be crowdfunded comics, web comics, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, self-published, uh, small publisher, small press, whatever. I try to cover it all, uh, and it's just me. So, you know, hey, if I don't get to everything, cut me some slack, will you? <laughs> all right, so anyway, getting into this video. What is this video? This video is something I am, I've decided to call Backing Indie Crowd... Wait, what did I call <laughs> Backing and supporting indie comics. That's what it's called. Backing and supporting indie comics. Basic. That's right. The best part was I wasn't even planning on doing that, and it just worked out. So anyway, uh, and if you know me, you know I love, love, love a good uh, good little anagram there. Uh, so anyway, I will share the screen. We're going to get right into it, um, and we're going to start off. This one is going to be about how to back. Because uh, it's the most basic thing, I think, really, is, is how to back an indie comic. If you have never backed in an indie comic book project before, um, it's really, really very simple. I know sometimes people get a little overwhelmed uh, when it's something different and it's something they've never done before. So what I'm showing you right here, this is Indiegogo. Okay, so I'm going to make it full screen there so you can see it nice and clear and what this is this is indiegogo i am not logged in at the moment um and that's just because i don't want to show you guys all my information <laughs> stop being nosy um so anyway um what you do is you would sign up for indiegogo you create an account okay not a big deal it'll take you about 10 seconds to, to fill out the information you create an account and then you're on your way so now there's a few different ways you can find projects. You could just scroll here where it's just showing you everything. Now, Indiegogo, you know, there's a lot of different stuff on here. There's all kinds of stuff. You know, there's the, here you go, the Swiss Army knife of cables. Here's an anamorphic lens. Like all kind like here's a vinyl record. Um just, you know, lots of lots of odd stuff, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff you can find on here. So you can hit the explore tab here. And then it'll give you all different stuff here. And you can see right there, comics. So you can click on comics and you can just browse. I mean, this is one way you can do this is to just browse stuff and just check it out. See, and now like, here we go. Here's some some stuff right here. We've got, you know, some good stuff right off the bat. We got uh, Vinny Tartamella's Shadow of the Kraken, which just launched, I think, yesterday. Um, that book looks great. Um, uh, Requiem of the Crazy Three. I was just looking at that one before. Um, we got Not Daredevil, uh, which is definitely a funny thing. Uh, we've got The Buckler, which uh, if you're not sure what The Buckler is, you can actually go to IndieComicsOnTheGround.com. I've got a whole interview with John Dillard, the creator of The Buckler, on there. You can check that out and find out more about it that way. Um, and I've got Battle Me Knuckle Bomb number two, which I also have interviews with Kyung Lee. That just ended. Um, so you can see it says ended down there at the bottom. It'll tell you whether it's funding um, this tells you how many days are left in the campaign. Now, so this is uh, X Farce Reloaded, by the way. This is by Don Chin, the creator of the adolescent radioactive uh, black belt hamsters. Um, and I should be having an interview with him for the website coming up very soon. And I think we're going to stream together too, which is really cool. Uh, she Haikyo, which you guys, if you follow the channel, you know I loved the first one. So anyway, um, keeping it simple, let's just click on one of these. Let's check out, uh, let's say you see something here, you know, you're scrolling down, you're looking at all this stuff, and you're like, oh, okay, this stuff looks cool. You know, like, I like this one, this one looks neat, let me check that out. So let's say you decide, hey, I like the buckler, that looks cool, let me check that one out. So you just click on it, 
and then it's going to bring you to the campaign page. And now most campaigns, almost all of them will have a video. You could watch the video and you can learn more about it that way. You can click through the, the different artwork that they'll usually have up here. Um, you see John's art is absolutely amazing. Um, anyway, uh, and you can scroll down. You can also see here, like, did it already reach its goal? Has it not reached its goal? How many backers? How many hours are left? If you're not sure about a book, if you're just looking and you're, you know, you're just kind of like just perusing the stuff out, you can click on here where it says follow. And then that way later on, when you come back and log in, you can look at all your campaigns that you're following. And that way you can go back and decide, oh yeah, I really wanted to check that out. I, I think I'm going to back that one now. If you want to back it, obviously you can just click back it or what you can do is scroll down here. Now what you're going to get here, and I know this is really, really basic stuff for people who've done this a million times. Um, but if you haven't, you know, this is all new stuff. So it's pretty straightforward. You just got, you know, here's the pitch basically, you know, you come down here, it's going to tell you like, you're going to see this amazing cover. Like they're going to have artwork. They're going to have a pitch to tell you what the book is about. They're going to show you more artwork. They're going to tell you, you know, whatever, you know, it's their pitch. It's their way of trying to sell you on the book. So that's what you're going to have. Um, and a lot of times it's going to be lots, you know, some of them go down really far. Some of them end fairly quickly. Um, and then on the right hand side of the screen is where you have all the tiers. Now the tiers are the things you can back to actually get the book. So you could do the featured tier is chosen by the person running the campaign. So it's the thing that they want you to see first. Uh, now, some people will put, you know, something like this, which is a book plus original artwork, you know, so that's a $300 tier. That's not going to be for most people, you know, let's be honest, you know, but then you go, you've got your, you scroll down and you've got your $10 for the digital version. You've got $30 for the, the actual uh, book. It's, you know, for the real book, the physical version, um, this one, you've got like $2,000 to get you the cover painting, which is actually the painting of the real painting of the cover. Like that's like insane. Um, and then you can see like the ash can and the, our physical art was actually already sold out. Um, and that was it. He didn't have a lot of tears on this campaign, which I, I honestly find it better that way when a, when a campaign doesn't have too many tears. Um, so let's just say, let's say you decide you want to back this book. You would click on that. It tells you everything that's in there so you know it's the full 50-page graphic novel signed and shipped to you. So you know that's what it is. You know, if you decided, hey, you know, maybe I want to spend two grand on this, it's telling you everything that you're going to get in there, obviously. Um, so then if you decide that you want to get it, you get this perk, and then it's going to take you to the... Now, obviously, I am not logged in. You don't have to have an account to back. That is one thing. Um, you can actually back as just a guest. Um, I would recommend just make the account only because then that way you can follow campaigns and stuff and it allows you a chance to kind of go back and forth and see and, and you keep a keeps a running total of all the things that you have backed and everything else. It's cool. So, you, you know, if you don't want if you don't want to do that, though, you can just do it as a guest. You know, you put your name, your shipping address, you know, your credit card payment to do your payment in and then you can even add a tip if you want. Um, You know, that's up to you. Or, you know, you can do your, if you have a, uh, you know, if you have an account, just click log in and you would log in and you would do it. It's basically the same idea, but then you might have a, a card on file already at that point. Um, and it's going to tell you, you know, when you put your shipping address in, it's going to tell you what the shipping is. Uh, so, for example, right now, it just says zero for shipping. But when you put in your shipping destination, you know, whatever it might be, um, I'm not going to type anything in because I just can't think of a random zip code right now um it'll tell you what the estimated shipping is um uh, well not the estimated it'll tell you what the actual shipping is and then you'll know how much shipping uh, you're gonna pay so that's really honestly the easiest i mean it, it's super easy like oh yeah you can just do a country i forgot that was stupid of me <laughs> see even i forget stuff sometimes um the other way obviously that you're gonna get to these books is through me um i generally i i tend to put um, so let's yeah, so let's put um, United States in here, and I'll show you what the shipping. United States, it's ten dollars for shipping. So boom, now you know it's going to cost you forty dollars. Um, so anyway, I mean that's real basic. The other way, obviously, you're going to get there is through, um, you know, probably social media or indiecomicsunderground.com. Uh, you can get there, you know, 
by visiting my site and clicking the links there, that'll take you to the uh, Indiegogo page itself. I put links all the time. Um, and you're going to find stuff on Twitter. You're going to find stuff on Instagram. You're going to find stuff all over social media to help you find, you know, people promoting their books. And I think I might do another video in the basic series about how to find books because it actually can be pretty difficult. There are a lot of comic books um, coming out and, you know, it can be tough. Like, I mean, you saw like if I if I go back, let's say if I go back and do comics just on the, uh, you know, the old school way here, of just clicking and just searching, just kind of scrolling through here already you know you see we've got all this and then show me more not a problem here's a ton more we're gonna keep going and we're gonna keep going and we're gonna keep going like you get my point there are a lot <laughs> um so when you start seeing you know you start to realize like holy crud like there are a lot of comics and this is only on indiegogo right here there are a lot of comics and it just keeps on going. Um, so it can be hard to find. Hey, Ghetto Dragon, check that one out. Um, so it can be hard, you know, to to decide what one, you know, you want to do if you're just doing it this way. Uh, so you might want to go ahead and find other ways. So I'll help with that. I'll probably do another video about discovery um, at a later time. So... Now what I'm going to do is stop sharing that. And now I'm going to take you to the place that I probably shouldn't. Oh, people are going to be mad at me for this. I don't really care. It's fine. Be mad at me. People are mad at me all the time. It's fine. I, I can deal with it. I'm a big boy. Um, this is Kickstarter. This is the, the other place where you're going to back crowdfunded campaigns it's pretty much just a two horse race at this point it is indiegogo and kickstarter now that does not mean that those are the only places that you can get indie and indie comics but as far as crowdfunding campaigns this is the two places you're going to go you're going to go to indiegogo you're going to go to kickstarter that's where most people are going to send you for their campaigns so again you come on here and there's all sorts of stuff you know there's a 16-bit style game there's a coffee grinder you know again all kinds of weird stuff um so you know they have the tab right here and you can even see actually and recommended for me i don't am i logged i might uh i don't know if i'm logged in right now um but iridescent which looks amazing i did an interview with these guys this book looks so good um definitely check that one out um but you can click on comics and illustration it's right there because comics are a big part of crowdfunding um you know, and you can do the same thing. You can just explore. And they even have a, uh, you know, little look, explore comics. Um, I will say uh, you probably noticed yourself that the Kickstarter website kind of looks like it hasn't been updated since 2014. Um, whereas the Indiegogo site tends to have a little bit more of a. Uh... Oh, I <laughs> I'm not sharing it. Um what the heck happened there? That's bizarre. Let's try that again. Oh, that's annoying. All right, let's see. Is it working this time? Now it's working. Okay. So anyway, like I said, you click on comics. You can just, you know. And they have other things you can do to sort, you know. Um, or you can just scroll through and, and look at all this stuff. Um, you know, so anyway, uh, let's let's click on Iridescent because this book looks really cool. Um this one's got seven days to go, so it's almost done. So same thing with Kickstarter. You don't need to have a camp. You don't need to have a campaign. You don't need to have an, an account. Uh, you can back as a guest or you can save an account. And then that way you, you know, I, I would recommend making the account just because it tends to make things a little bit easier. You don't have to do it every single time. Um, and same thing. You've got the campaign. Uh, the setup, obviously, of the site is a little bit different. You know, you can see how many backers, how much they've gotten, how much how much time to go and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then, you know, you can see right here, here's the, you know, pledge without a reward. Ten, <clears throat> $10 or more gets you the digital deluxe. 15 gets you a printed copy. 20, 25 gets you some more tchotchkes to go along with it and so on and so forth. Um, and same thing, like they've got a video here at the top and then, 
you know, you can check out the artwork and they have these really cool graphic. I like these things. To, like, that's really cool. Um, and you can see, you know, they've got artwork and they tell you the story about what the book's about and everything else. And, um, you know, it's the same idea. It's the basic, same basic premise um, as Indiegogo in terms of the layout and that sort of stuff. And if you want to back, you basically just, like I said, you come down here, just like on the other one, you pick the one you want. Like if you want, <clears throat> let's say you want the printed copy, you click on that. You know, it's in the, in the U.S., which is where I am. It's a $10 for shipping. Um, so it's $15 for the book, $10 for shipping, 25 bucks would get me the book. Um, so, you know, it's a basically the same idea <coughs> when you're going into, excuse me for that, when you're going into uh, Indiegogo or uh, Kickstarter to back something. And again, you're going to find these things most likely through other sources, through social media or people talk, telling you about them or whatever it might be, or through IndieComicsUnderground.com. Um, so, you know, it's basically the same idea. You know, you would, like I said, you click on it, you hit continue if that's the one you want. It's going to take you to, you know, payment information, all that stuff. You put all that stuff in and all that good stuff. And, and you know, you just like buying anything else online. Um, so anyway, um, that is the first video here in the basic series. Uh just to give you, you know, backing and supporting indie comics, that is just to give you a little idea on if you've never backed before, if you've never been to a crowdfunding site, you've only ever heard of it, and you're not really sure how it goes. I hope that kind of demystifies it for you a little bit. Um, and I'm going to do more videos in this series just to kind of help people understand different aspects of this whole thing. Uh, and you can figure out new ways to I'll talk about ways to discover books. I'll talk about ways to um, find out more information about books. I'll also talk about ways to help promote books. If you think a book looks awesome and you want to share it out with the world and you want to help get those books funded, you know, which is a huge deal for indie creators is to have people help. Um, you know, they, they need, you know, they need it. It's, it's, you know, it's word of mouth. You know, it's a lot of, you know, these people don't generally don't have huge money to spend on advertising. So it's pretty much just word of mouth and spreading the word. Um, I'll talk about that, how you can do that. It is a bunch of stuff. And I'm going to talk about other ways um, to support indie comics uh, aside from just crowdfunding, other ways that you can find books uh, to read, to buy, um, and, and all sorts of stuff. So we're going to get into, it's going to be a whole series of stuff. I'm going to have a whole bunch of videos in this series. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, if this one was really simplistic for you, it's cause it's step one. It's the first one. We're just talking about backing, trying to demystify that scariness that some people sort of feel when it comes to backing a crowdfunded campaign. And, and if you have any questions that you'd like to see me cover when it comes to backing and supporting indie comics, please put them in the comments down below ask me the questions. I would love to answer you, uh, whether you are watching this on YouTube or if you're watching this on, in, on IndieComicsUnderground.com, there's comment sections in YouTube. There's comment sections on the website, either place. Tell me what you'd like me to cover. Tell me what you'd like to see, what you're curious about, any questions you might have. Uh, and I would love to cover that for you guys and help you guys out. I just want to spread the word. want to help get more people reading comics. Uh, so anyway, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. Please click the thumbs up if you like this video, if you want to see more videos like this. Um, and don't forget to check out IndieComicsUnderground.com. Also, follow me on Twitter at jam underscore creates. You can follow me on Instagram at jam underscore creates. Uh, my Instagram feed is mainly just my artwork, um, which is getting better and better and better. Um, and pictures of my dog, who is awesome. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, I'm going to keep saying Happy New Year because it's still the first work week of the new year. So Happy New Year. I hope your new year has gotten off to a really good start. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace out.